were dealing with immensely tiny structures. You have to find a solution for something that wasn't there before. Changing structures, improving functionality. Improve engineering with uh, the help of a better understanding in science. You build systems that go where hardly anything goes. You have a research in an, in an area where for most people it's a dream to do something over there. Nobody can deny that we rely heavily on electronic systems in our daily life. It's almost impossible to imagine a day without products like computers, mobile phones, or even your coffee machine. Computer engineering and microelectronics are the key disciplines that make this possible. All of this is nothing else than a small silicon chip. The key question is now how to guarantee that they perform the right function with the right power consumption, with the right timing, and so on and so on. Delft University of Technology is one of the top ranked universities in the world. Students come to Delft uh, because uh, of reputation, very well-known activities in uh, the field of electronics, of computer engineering and uh, software. Did you check the alignment of the laser? TU Delft is one of the top universities in our field. It's one of the major universities in Europe. Also, there is high-quality publications. Delft is providing a high-quality program for bachelor, master and PhD. Based in the Netherlands, Delft is conveniently located in the center of Western Europe, close to Amsterdam, London, Paris, Berlin. The Delft objective is to produce graduates who are critical, independent thinkers. It's an equal balance of theory and the practical studies. That's technologically, they are well known. High-ranking university. People on, in this research group are the top. DELF stands for Problem-Oriented, Creative, Innovative Learning by Doing. It focuses on analysis and problem-solving in groups. Guidance and assistance are available at all times. But DELFT also stands for close connections to the industry. DELFT is the driving force behind many spin-off companies and encourages transfer of knowledge to industry. Many scientific results have been adopted by leading technology companies like Intel, IBM, NXP, Xilinx, Atmel, ST Microelectronics. Delft has been always transferring knowledge from academia, from research to industry, to reality. We are not only performing research for research, but we are really performing research to impact the reality, to impact the real life. It's a good, uh, let's say, window to the world. Practical assignments, which I, I really, really enjoy. Them. A lot of resources and access to, 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 yeah, to infrastructures. And especially for engineers, this is very interesting and important because we, 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 we do experiments and we, we need uh, equipment and machinery. Designing electronic systems requires a multidisciplinary approach, ranging from software to hardware, from high-level design to nanotransistors. Our core technologies lead to innovative products, such as powerful implantable medical devices, inexpensive microsatellites, intelligent transportation systems, and low-power consumer electronics. We have everything. We want to uh, do any kind of experiment. Technically really good. It's a fantastic university. Delft believes that we can change the world. We can change the way people live in, the way they are communicating. We're trying to make super e-paper. That's a uh, novel product. In the future, we can uh, read newspaper of this, or check our email, check our weather. Look. If this is the future, I, I would be happy. Exploring new frontiers means exploring new fields of science and at the same time exploring new boundaries in engineering. Going to uh, the limit of the picosecond, for example, of the millilux and of the uh, uh, gigahertz. The application that she's working on is uh, cochlear implants and these are electronic devices that need to be uh, improved in order to uh, improve the speech intelligibility of sound. Okay, so here, here we she have developed a new algorithm. Since it is indeed an improvement, we will take up the challenge to map this functionality that we have newly defined onto silicon. 
And if that is successful, we can go to the next phase, which are clinical trials and hopefully improve quality of life of profoundly deaf people. There are two institutes very close together. That is the Department of Aerospace Engineering and we have the Delft Institute of Microelectronics. We can make chips, we can make microsystems and we know how to build satellites. The dream is, uh, is to, uh, to have uh, a radio telescope around the moon. That is a project that we already started. This radio telescope will be able to look at uh, the dark ages. There is something we don't know what's out there. And we are going to have a look at it, see it for the first time. So actually a lot of students that are interested in space yeah, could actually be involved in a real space system. These two institutes being so close together yeah, is the way to success. The load pool project is trying to optimize device for their real life conditions, so try to get the best out of device for a given application. For example, in every of the mobile that we use today, or in the base station that communicates with our mobile. And what does studying in the Netherlands really mean? It means being in the center of Europe. You can work in a nice environment without feeling isolated from the rest of the world. Being on top of latest technology and research facilities. It, it offers even more than I initially imagined. But it also means studying in a free and open and informal environment with an immense tradition of research and knowledge available to everyone. Visiting researchers from all over the world regularly visit Delft give talks or guest lectures and collaborate with us on groundbreaking research. They have to provide a very nice environment for different nationalities where they come together to create a new world. It means studying in a relatively small but densely populated country, in a historic town with vibrant student life, in the center of technology of tomorrow. Very international beautiful city. You know everybody. Nice people. Also the atmosphere with my colleagues. Lots of bikes. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fun place. It's a nice place. Are you passionate about computers? Are you passionate about technology? Then join us to build your future. Together, we build tomorrow's world.